What's cooking in the kitchen guys? Void of Star here and today I am starting a walkthrough let's play kind of just playthrough of Subnautica and um, Subnautica is a game <laughs> that you can get on Steam and uh, we're just going to play survival uh, I'll talk a bit more about the game now while it's loading up but uh, the premise of the game is you're stranded on an ocean planet and you have to escape somehow and the game came out of early access this month <laughs> or last is last month January 27th or something or 23rd not sure but I've done a run through the game completed it uh, on freedom mode not survival so this will be a challenge for both me and myself <laughs> but we are going to be in the world soon and I'm hoping that this will be helpful for people who want to know how to win oh, people who want to know how to win the game and <laughs> I guess get better and it's kind of a memory thing but not really I mean once you know the places you can go back and play through the game quicker so hopefully this will be a good guide for those people who are looking for it and yes we should be jumping into the world now so I will just let the origin the first cutscene play I mean I'll probably do all of the cutscenes in that so uh, here we go And uh, there we go. So we now um, wake up in the life pods, and um, I will play through the tutorial thing. I mean, it's just a basic little thing where you just have to put out the fire and load up your PDA. Nothing special, but it's a good way for you to familiarise yourself with the controls. ECT. Wait for this. <laughs> Head trauma. This is considered an optimal outcome. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the database for detailed survival advice. Good luck. So, how to use the PDA? You press tab, it opens the PDA with your inventory. You can access your blueprints, uh, what you can craft, you know. Uh, you can see your beacons, and uh, it's like things you can mark on the map. You can see if screenshots you've taken. If you press F11, you can take a screenshot. Voice logs you get from various locations around the map, and the data bank is things that you've either scanned or have collected. Uh, the thing also comes with two filter waters and two nutrient blocks, which I'll probably save for a later time. And uh, without further ado, let's get on with it. So um, obviously we're stranded here, and uh, yep, you can read the thing. The Aurora has uh, suffered catastrophic hull failure, which means uh, the Aurora is not going to be very useful yet, but it will be eventually. So, oh, we got a good spawn. There's limestone right here, and we got copper already. <laughs> So if you listen to the thing, it does give you pretty good advice. Copper is pretty much essential for most recipes. And uh, I believe I got this spawn in my last playthrough. We will need salt for bleach. That's what that white looking um, crusty stuff is. Um, the 
crystallized ore here is quartz, you can use that in the crafting of glass and various different components. The limestone outcrops, which are the weird rock shaped things, will have one of, th I think, two or three ores, the basic ones have. And that's titanium, quartz, or, I don't know, it's just titanium. Uh, <laughs> this would be pretty embarrassing if we managed to, uh, to die already. Should just about be fine. There we go. <laughs> the game is pretty lenient when it comes to uh, to death. It is kind of hard to die in the game, but it is definitely possible. So I would most definitely watch yourself while playing. But uh, you want to try and find one of these tubes as soon as possible. I mean, we got quite lucky because you know we spawned next to one. These will give you enough materials to kind of really kickstart your base building. And, well, not necessarily base building, but your just your general items really. And I am taking way too long to do these. I just go this way. Should just about make it to the surface again. It's going to be close, but we'll we'll do it. And. Um, Let's see what we've got. So we've got tons of copper. That's eight. So right, I'll show you how that works in a sec. Well, let's just swim back over to the life pods and these giant coral tubes. They also have the uh, outcrops on the tops as well. So that's handy. One, two, three, four, five acid mushrooms. We need one more. Uh, yeah. So back into the life pod we go to see about crafting. Now the crafting system is obviously pretty crisp, it works like most games crafting systems do. You've got the crafting table and it's got the various menus for different categories. So you like resources, food, equipment, personal stuff and deployables. So we're going to turn that metal salvage that we picked up into titanium. Each metal salvage is worth 4 titanium. And we're going to craft a titanium ingot, which will be useful later on. That's going to go in the storage. And then we're going to craft a couple of batteries, which are also important for later on. Craft three of those, that's going to be enough to get most of the equipment that we need straight off. So we can now craft an O2 tank to increase our oxygen capacity so we can spend more time underwater. And we can also craft a scanner which will allow us to. Uh, well, you had the thing, you use it for scanning things so like if I wanted to scan one of these I can just scan it and the data bank will give me all the information on it so this is a floater yeah you can also scan yourself to see your current health condition Vital signs normal. Continuing to monitor. so we are healthy at the moment so that's good we're not dead uh, the scanner can also be used, as the thing did say, to get blueprints. So that's handy. Uh, we're definitely going to want these for food. <laughs> I do tend to forget about food a lot, so consider that not being a problem later, because food is easy later. But definitely for the start, food is going to be quite a large issue. I uh, want to hurry up and scan whatever's in here. Mobile vehicle bay fragment. That's going to be useful for creating a seamoth, which will be our first uh, submarine. I don't know if this actually works, I just kind of thought that it might. It doesn't. Ah, okay. We're doing well. So we want to be looking around this biome for the mobile vehicle bays and the sea glide fragments. These are what are going to get us our kind of basics set up and ready to go. Just going to pick this up. Oh, and I found a wreck. Okay. I think this does make you faster in water. Kind of good. 
probably going to come a little bit closer to the uh, life craft just because I need to get these blueprints ASAP. Especially the sea glide because then we can get around super fast and get things done double quick. So these are the second secondary ore deposits. They contain one of three ores, gold, silver or lead. The first ones I believe only contain either gold or plat uh, not platinum. <laughs> Copper or titanium. Uh, uh, I think this is gonna set them off, but I can't even start anyway. I just gotta look around for these um, fragments, dude. I must have the vehicle bay, but I don't even have the sea moth yet. It's kind of annoying. If you can tell from my voice, I'm quite sick at the moment. <laughs> But I, I just felt like recording this before the game becomes kind of old and dead. You know, I can finish a run of this by the end of the half term and then have the footage uploaded kind of regularly. <laughs> Hopefully a bit more regularly than some of the other videos like Rocket League and all that stuff. I am uh, currently working on editing a kind of a montage of a load of matches that I did with some of my friends from school. So that should be alright. You know, a bit of fun, I guess. But my inventory is not full, so I'll have to return to my life pod. Get rid of some of these bigger items. Some items do take up more than one inventory slot. It's either one by one or like two by two, and there are a couple that are three by three. <laughs> They're obviously the uh, the most annoying to carry around. All of these, all of these tools that we're crafting have batteries which are important in powering equipment so we'll want a battery charger pretty s as soon as possible so we don't have to uh, so we don't have to continually replace the batteries we should be able to craft a repair tool soon need to go into the cave areas so we're going to do uh, one lubricant Two lubricant <laughs> and one of the uh, synthetic, no, not synthetic, but silicone rubber. So we can now get a power cell, which is going to be important uh, pretty soon. Uh, we're gathering a couple of ingredients for something we're going to need pretty soon. So we're going to get some filtered water. Pretty good starting thing, you know, nice, easy to get. Uh, cook peepers because they're quite good. So that's quite interesting. Quite uh, advanced technologies we have here in this universe. Ah, yes, I can get another first aid kit. And we need to find a cave. This isn't also a good time to be looking. But, uh,. Yeah, we're gonna try and lure out a cave fish. These things are annoying. These are probably the most irritating mob to come across at this stage of the game, and I cannot see a thing. Well, we're gonna have to do something else because I cannot see anything. Ah, yay! We unlocked the mobile vehicle bay. How handy! Not. It's not handy without a sea glide. But we can. Uh, oh no. Missed. Oh, it's morning. Hooray. We can now craft that because I was gathering resources for it all along. Haha. -ha. So all we needed was lubricant, titanium, ingot, and a power cell, which we have. So now we're able to craft the mobile vehicle bay. So woohoo. Oops. So if I just uh just this, this and this. Ta-da! Lovely. Uh, just gonna put some of this quartz down because I don't really need any of this stuff in my inventory. There we go, we got a mobile vehicle bay fragment, so Yahoo. Just gonna cook these uh fish. Except ladder fish because I need water. Consider disguising the flavour. 
<laughs> like Lisa's steps. Oh yeah. So 23 feet. 23 feet. And I'll drink the water. I can save the hoop fish for later. Hopefully. Uh, yeah, sand out. We're definitely gonna go out. So I have to go out and get the sea moth. What's the sea moth? Sea glide. Uh, we, it's telling us to release the mobile vehicle bay, so uh, I guess I will. Uh, let's just drop it right here. Yeah, that's an alright spot. So the way this works is you climb up and you have access to the crafting console. Uh, we don't have any of the uh, vehicles unlocked yet. But uh, yeah, we will see. I just realised I could have crafted the knife. I <laughs> could have actually had the weapon. Somewhat. Go away. Leave me alone. Hang on a minute. That's a stalker tooth. That is incredibly useful for later on. When we start crafting vehicles. No, it's nothing. <laughs> Come on, we're gonna have to actually go away from here. Ooh, a wreck. I think I found that already, but that is a wreck. We shall go and examine that. I'm pretty sure we could get a battery charger fragment, which would be quite handy. So let's uh, submerge and have a look for it. Wherever it was, it was there. We should probably also upgrade the oxygen tank one more time because I can imagine it being useful, probably. They're all going to come for me, I just know it. Ah, and we got these weird uh, drooping stingers. But we do have a data box. These things are very useful. As you can see, we got the compass blueprint instantly and a mobile vehicle ray fragment. And if we have a repair tool, which we should have gotten already, then we could uh, unlock that door. So we need to keep that in mind. And I'm not normal at the moment. So compass, that's handy, but I uh, don't really need it yet. So if I can get two glass, uh, I literally just put my so one, two, three, four. And I'll put this down because that's easily the most uh, advanced resource I have on me, the stalker teeth. <laughs> so we get the two glass and upgrade the oxygen tank one more time to a high capacity tank, which I believe gives you 125 or maybe more than that, I'm not sure. Ooh, way more, 135. I'm just going to eat this before it goes off. So I'm going to be prompt. Let's craft some more titanium. And more titanium. And more titanium. You can never have too much titanium. Uh, silicone rubber. And whoa, titanium for a knife. Great. <laughs> Next step. Cha. I don't think I've been to no ways. If that's a sea moth fragment, a sea there, sea glide. I would be sad because I should have seen this thing from the get go. Good. It's the same fragment I've had all this time. So to get these guys to go away, all I have to do is hit them with a knife and they'll go. So it's pretty nice that they have that in place so that. When threatened, they will just go and leave you alone. Because that's what I want. I want peace and quiet so that I may get on with my business and they may get on with theirs. Ah, there's one of the nasty things that I'm looking for. So we bait them out and they're probably going to explode on me. Ow. And then I get to go down and collect lovely sulfur. And my inventory is full. Let's actually dump some titanium. Oh, I can see the titanium rights activists coming for me already. Um, <laughs> if I if I made a video of just me saying um, 
all the times I've said um in this episode. Jeez. It's a bad habit, habit um. I'm making Umwalker, the umbra of umness. Mr. Umness. And he's going to get the thing now. He's going to craft bleach first. <laughs> I love me some bleach. Yahoo! How important. Now I can get disinfected water. Ah, which is nice. Ah, uh, thank you. So we have got plenty of water now. And I should probably find something to do with all this. Oh, they nerfed this. This used to give you 50. Oh well. Uh, do I want to get a wiring kit? What do I need for this repair tool? I just need silicone. Ah! It's getting to night. I still don't have the sea glide. It's what, day two? This is annoying. Okay, returning to life pod 5. On, from my little adventure. And I can't even craft 5 of it. Just to clarify, I needed the silicone. I cook Gary first. That's a big fish. <laughs> ah, fins. I really want them, but for me, I definitely would rather get the repair tool and be over with. Okay. So, I'm going to throw that rotten creep run away, because I don't need it. Not yet. Be gone! So, let's now go in this direction, and attempt to find the mythical sea glide fragment. Is it? Ah, of course not. Is it? No, it's not. My luck is clearly amazing. I have to do a... Uh cargo crate unboxing montage just to get one there's another one could this be the crate guys could it be the crate okay we're gonna unbox uh, 12 million cargo crates oh oh we got mobile vehicle bay again Woo! guess what it is another mobile vehicle bay fragment just when you want to titanium more than ever yeah, I kind of don't want to get out of there because it's probably Mesmus. Okay. Oh, a beacon fragment. I didn't notice that last time. And another beacon fragment. Wow, look what we have fabricated. God. It's open. Wow, look at this. Lots of scanning stuff. Can get a swivel chair. I'm probably gonna have to go out and come back down again. Locked, and there's no way to unlock it. Gravity trap fragment. Yay. Okay. I don't know anything as much else to do there. Love to have potential sea glide fragments. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Haha, days. Ta da da da. I just realised. Uh, so, the other thing, now that we're back at the life pod and uh, we have the other blueprint, we can repair various components of the base. And, uh, well, the base. I just wait for that to play. While we craft a few things. There we go. Oh god, actually cover wire and lubricant. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna find a place to put all this stuff. Yum. Okay. He's 
get some acid mushrooms. There we go, boys. Love acid mushrooms. And then I can get the most useful thing. This is Aurora. Distress signal received. Rescue operation will be dispatched to your location in line. Nine. 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 Hours. Continue to monitor for emergency transmissions from the Wow. Lucky B. <laughs> yeah, you bet it will. So, wiring kit. Computer chip. <sighs> it's almost dark. I thought the coal was going to burst in two hours. One in game hour is one real life minute. This <laughs> is wasting like 48 minutes on this. But we've only just got a sea glide. Well, at least we've got one. So now I can craft a habitat builder. Which means I can get rid of all this titanium and build a little storage thing. Yay! So, we'll just build a simple habitat. Uh, simple. <laughs> Probably something like... Yes. Saucy, as a good friend of mine would say. And... I don't know. <laughs> like this. Yay. And I can also get power to it by using a solar panel. Wow, how convenient. And now we have no titanium. When you see the uh, blue logo in the top right, you know you got a message. Ooh, I got Keynes first. I have assumed command. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together. Cha. Welcome aboard, Captain. This message will now repeat. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Transmission uh. origin coordinates downloaded. Cool. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Cool. So now. We can craft some lockers to store stuff in. <laughs> but I don't think that's really necessary now. And I'll just dump. Actually, no, no, no. I want to try and be organized. I put my lead in here and my stock teeth. Like valuable materials, I guess. <laughs> and we got another message already. What? Good. Ah, oh, five of mesh. So you four creep vine samples. See, look. Now, we got all of the good stuff. And I'm pretty sure. So guys, that is probably going to do it for this episode, uh, I think we got quite a bit done in the end, and we just got the red suit as well, so that's nice. Next time, we will go into the radiation zone, 
and collect Seamoth, hopefully get Seamoth and maybe even go and explore the Aurora. Be a busy episode next time. So I will cut this episode here and I'll join you guys uh, next time. Goodbye.